give me a word in bondage he came to deliver me from my bondage the angel didn't come just to see me die in the wilderness he came to bring me some water he came to bring me some bread he came to bring me some vittles so that I might be saved I'm almost done take your seat when it comes to the word of God we've got to believe and act upon the promise of God so that it might be transformed into the power of God say this with me the promise of God is to be transformed into the power of God the promise of God is not high in the sky the promise of God is not just something that is dangled before you like a carrot but you cannot access it God wants us to access his promises let me try to give you this the reason that most of us can hear a word but not really respond to it if I were to say by the power of the word of God you are healed today if somebody believed the word of God and you are sick and you got an ailment that was your time to get up and to start praising him watch this watch this the reason that you sat there and you looked at me as if to say for real the reason that somebody that's battling cancer right now didn't jump up and go for it is because we've been so inundated by our physical realities until we have failed to realize our spiritual truths in the midst of our physical reality. See, in the physical, I'm still dealing with it. In the physical, it still got me down. In the physical, it still got me bound. In the physical, it's still there. I feel it. I can feel it every now and then it lets me know that it's there so when I get a word I don't activate the word because of my natural realities how in the world can David declare yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil. How can he declare that when he's walking through the shadow of death that's real that he ain't got no problem? Because he declares that God is with me. How do you know he's with you, David? You ain't never seen him. He knows that he is with him because he believes in him. If he does not believe in him, then he has to see it to believe it. But when he believes it without seeing, then he does not need the tangible proof that he exists. So when you're dealing with the natural reality that I got this tumor, then it's hard for me to accept the spiritual truth that by his stripes I'm already healed. So therefore, I talk about but. Well, yeah, I believe God, but. Yeah, yeah, well, do you believe God gonna hear you? Yeah, but. The doctors say, go with me to 2 Corinthians real quick. Chapter number four and verse number five. 2 Corinthians chapter four, verse seven. And I'm gonna try to close this thing out. Thank you. Y'all there? Second Corinthians? 
All right. But we have this treasure. Read with me. In earthen vessels. That what? The excellency of the power. What? May be of God and not of us. Now, here we go. Verse number eight. Y'all ready? Go. We are troubled on.